The ability to collect real-time data is already a multi-billion dollar industry, and you can tap into that with a project like the one that I'm just about to show you. If you have access to real-time information, this can inform million dollar business decisions. And if you can provide that data to different clients or people who can actually use it, you can take a cut of those profits. Now, I won't lie to you, this is not as trivial as I might make it sound. Most companies are gonna actively block you from grabbing this type of information. And even if they do provide an API, you're most likely gonna deal with rate limiting, out of date information, and a whole bunch of other issues that can completely ruin the whole point of even having this system. That's why what you most likely need to do is build a web scraper that would scan e-commerce marketplaces for products of interest for either me or my clients. Now, unfortunately, every time I attempted to do this, my IP address got blocked. I got stuck behind captchas and I just got completely denied and shut out of the website after just a few attempts at scraping it. Now, it turns out the websites are pretty smart. They can detect bots and they really don't want you scraping their website and doing exactly what I was attempting to do. Now, that's what I remembered that about a year ago, I had worked with a company called Bright Data. Now, Bright Data essentially unblocks your browser for you. It'll automatically solve captures and all that kind of stuff. Now, what Bright Data gave me access to is something called their scraping browser, which is a headful browser that works with Puppeteer, Selenium and Playwright and automatically unblocks websites for you. It will connect to a proxy network, rotate your IP address, and automatically solve CAPTCHAs, essentially allowing you ungated access into a website and to perform web scraping. Now, most importantly, it also allows you to do scaling, meaning I could run hundreds of instances of my scraper at the exact same time, and I wasn't limited to a single instance or whatever my local machine could handle. All right, so now let me show you the project that I actually ended up building. What I have here is a product search tool, and right now it goes to Amazon, and it will automatically scrape Amazon every single day for all of the different products that I have that are set up here. It gives me the current price and any price change since the last time this scraper ran. So you can see down here, we have kind of a combo of a CPU and a motherboard, and this has gone up 0.76% since the last time I ran this. I was actually pretty surprised to find out that even large sites like Amazon are constantly updating their prices, and you can see quite a few different price changes here. Now, just to quickly show you in case you want to do this for yourself, what you would need to do is go to Bright Data, create a new account. You can do that from the link in the description and access the scraping browser. So from Bright Data, I'm going to go to my proxies and scraping infrastructure. I have scraping browser right here. I'll click on that. You can see if I went to uh, kind of the parameters here, it would give me like the host name, password, etc., which I don't want to share with you. And that's really all you need. Once you activate this and you have access to that information, you put that inside of the file. So you get your username, password, host, sorry, and then you can just start using this. There's really no more configuration required. I hope you guys found this helpful and this gave you some inspiration for a great project idea. If it did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.